A symbiotic relationship or symbiosis is when there are two organisms involved and both benefit from the relationship with each other. One organism benefits and the other is relatively unaffected or one organism benefits at the cost to the other being negatively affected. One kind of symbiotic relationship is called mutualism, where both organisms benefit from their symbiotic relationship with one another. One example that we've seen of this is with corals and their zooxanthellae. The corals obtain most of their nutrients from that photosynthetic algae, or zooxanthellae, living inside of its coral tissue, and the zooxanthellae in turn has a host or a place to live. Now, we do see some on the reef around us, so why don't we come over here and swim and follow me, and we see some symbiosis in this coral here. Now, if you guys remember last time, we talked a little bit about the complexity of coral reefs, and at the basics, coral reef has coral on it. So, of course, you see lots of beautifully colored coral. But none of this coral would be as beautiful and as healthy without the teeny tiny photosynthetic algae that lives inside of it, which gives it this beautiful color. Now, not only is it giving that coral its beautiful color, but it's also taking in energy from the sunlight and actually able to create food for that coral. Up to about 95% of its food, actually. So, the other 5% comes from that coral actually reaching out and grabbing for that food. But, the coral is also giving the zooxanthellae a place to live. Without this coral to call home, the zooxanthellae wouldn't survive. However, without the zooxanthellae to give the coral that food that it needs, then the zooxanthellae wouldn't survive, or the coral wouldn't survive. So both of them rely on each other. What a cleaning station is, and you're right, Noelle, it is mutualistic. And it is one of the relationships on your students in class activity sheets. Now what that is, is when a larger fish, usually in Little Cayman we see a, a Nassau grouper, or um, maybe a black grouper, or a snapper, or um, any of these larger apex predators. And what they do is they'll find a nice, usually big coral head, just like this one. And they'll come over to it and they'll sit kind of right above it and hover. And they'll wait for lots of little smaller fishes like wrasses or cleaner gobies or even little shrimp to come along. They'll come to the bigger fish and they'll start cleaning that bigger apex predator. Now what they're doing is really just picking off all the little bacteria and parasites that may be on that bigger fish's body. So this is a great example of mutualism because that bigger fish is able to get cleaned or a free dentist appointment while those little fishes or shrimp are getting a nice meal. Now, something that's really cool about that is when you see these bigger fishes, including that big barracuda we saw earlier, which I don't know where he's gone now, but usually they're gonna be eating those little tiny fishes. But when they stop at an established cleaning station, the little fishes don't worry about getting eaten because they know that the bigger fish won't hurt them while they're being cleaned. So this is a mutualistic, symbiotic relationship because both organisms benefit from it and even sort of depend on it because without these cleaning stations, those bigger fish could have a really big buildup of parasites or bacteria all over their bodies.